So how long exactly can you go without eating? Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And we are here today to talk about tactical fasting. Um, I, I say that somewhat tongue in cheek, but this came from uh, watching some Grantham videos, you know, and he's talking about how in his like survival videos, you can go, you know, four, five, six, seven days without eating and you'll be fine. And I saw that and I thought, I don't know, can you, will you? Like, I, I don't know, I've never gone that long without eating before, what, what does that look like? So, uh, I did, uh, with a buddy of mine, we did 48 hours of fasting, which is the longest I've ever gone personally without eating. Now, uh, a couple disclosures here, and then I got kind of a little little vlog for you as I, as I went through it. So, you know, one, uh, I've only been eating one meal a day for, I don't know, six or eight months. And I've been, that's been pretty successful. So to some degree or another, I've been, you know, fasting like for, I don't know, 16, 18 hours um, throughout most days. You know, some days I'll cheat and I'll have a little snack here or there. But by and large, like not eating for large chunks of time was, was not new to me. Um, so the first thing we did is we did a 24 hours, a full 24 hours, 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. fast. And, you know, saw what that was like. That was not, not too bad. Um, honestly, that was what I would say is uncomfortable, but not hard. Like the hardest thing was just to remember that, oh yeah, I'm not eating food right now. I'm just, I'm seeing how long I can go. Uh, during this whole thing, then we did 48 hours. And during this whole deal, you know, we just tried to keep up normal physical activities. So I didn't skip workouts. I did, I just did my day. I just cut out eating food. One thing that I did notice is that my stomach definitely shrank, uh, particularly on the 48 hour one. Uh, my stomach definitely shrank. And uh, when it came time to finally eat dinner, I ate like, you know, half of what I thought I was going to eat uh, because I just, my stomach shrank and it wasn't that big. So when I did this 48 hour fast, I tried to film little snippets uh, that you'll see right after here of me going through it to kind of give a little live action read of how it, how it went during it. So, you know, this is kind of my feedback in the moment of how it went. I'll say this in the clips here, but again, overall, I would just like to say you should try this. Fasting for 48 hours is not nearly as intimidating as you think it is. I was intimidated. I thought, man, this is gonna be really hard. I'm really not sure about this. I, I mean, not eating for two days, that sounds crazy. I've never done that in my life. Like, what, what's that gonna be? So, all that being on the other side of it now, I would say not so bad. I'll probably do it again. Uh, very mentally uh, confidence building. Gives me a lot of mental confidence to know, okay, if push comes to shove and I don't eat for two days, I'm gonna be fine. Uh, so that's that's super helpful. And I think I mentioned in the clips too, but I will say that like, you know, I kept my workouts going, right? Like over two days, I probably gained muscle, not lost muscle, in the sense that I'm still doing my workouts, I'm, I'm still working on that. Uh, you know, if you were to go longer, I don't know, right? You're probably gonna start to lose muscle at some point because your body's gonna start to digest what it has. Uh, but, you know, as far as like being able to keep working out and keep trying to build towards a goal there physically, that I did not see an impediment there at all. Still went rocking, still got my uh, bench presses in because, we'll, you know, over the two days that I was not eating. So, um, again, would tell you to try it. But here are my live action clips in the moment of how it went. I hope you enjoy and I hope you consider trying some tactical fasting. Okay, so it's uh, 8.44 in the morning. Um, I meant to film this first one at seven, but you know, we started at seven o'clock last night so far. I mean, it's 12 hours. It's really not that big of a deal. I really don't think things will get difficult until this evening slash tomorrow. So we'll kind of check in on my mental state then and see how things are going. Full disclosure, I did drink tea this morning. And so I put, uh, milk and sugar in it because, you know. You're gonna have tea. I don't drink coffee, so. And I did just uh, put an Altoid mint in my mouth, but uh, then I spit it out right away because I remembered, oh yeah, we're not supposed to do that. Time is 9.09, .09, day one. It's about noon, day one. We just finished uh, our workout for the day, so doing fine so far. I'm really curious how tomorrow it's gonna go. Uh, I'm supposed to go rucking with some buddies tomorrow morning, so we will see how that turns out. One other thing I would like to add here is that, you know, while you're working out, you don't really feel hungry, right? So at least it's like a, a temporary uh, reduction of hunger levels. I don't know, but being busy is important. And when you're physically, you know, fighting for your life, well, it's easy to forget that you're hungry. 
12, 25, still day one here. It was just in the shower after my workout. And I was thinking, you know, I fasted for 24 hours before. And uh, really, it has little to no impact on your physical ability. I, I think the biggest reason to keep food in your kit uh, is for more for a mental break kind of thing, right? Like you're tired, you're maybe a little stressed out, and eating some food is going to help you with that. But as far as like impacting physical performance, I think you can easily go 24 hours without impacting any kind of physical performance. Um, yeah, I just did my full workout. Again, now it hasn't been 24 hours yet. It's been like, I don't know, whatever, 12, 7 to, 7 to 12, 30 is, whatever that is. Um, so 15, 16 hours, something like that. But my ability to actually do work has not been impacted, right? I got through my lifts just fine. I, I didn't like feel like, oh, dear God, why don't I have food? I made it through. So really, you don't need food from a physical standpoint easily for that first 24 hours. I probably, you know, for much longer than that. But so far, this is where we're at. Day one still, it's about two o'clock and I'm hungry. I could definitely eat food. And normally I'd tell myself, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, I'll just eat in five hours. Instead, I get to tell myself, it's no big deal. I'll just eat in 29 hours. A little bit less satisfying. So uh, it is 7.42, so we're a little bit past 24 hours. And at this point, uh, you know, 24 hours is uncomfortable. I wouldn't say that it's it's hard or it's difficult. And like I mentioned earlier, um, you know, you can you can get by 24 hours without without food in your kit. That's fine. You're not necessarily physically degraded. I will say, I think that I do get a little bit colder easier uh, when I'm not eating versus versus when I am eating. Uh, really curious to see how tomorrow goes. Like right now, I am, I'm hungry. It's noticeable if I stop and think about it. If I stay busy, it's honestly not too bad. And like I said, I don't, I don't think physically I feel very degraded. Um, we'll hopefully check in during that ruck tomorrow and see how that goes. The time is 10.28 on day two, and I just finished a ruck a couple miles here. I uh, got like, I don't know, 40-ish pounds in the pack, maybe a little more. And uh, so far feeling good, honestly. Um, biggest, no, no real issues with the fasting uh, on the ruck. Like I didn't feel like super tired or out of energy or anything, I felt great. I woke up this morning, by and large, I felt good. Um, you know, I had my tea, so you can, can ding me on that if you want, but uh, everything, like I said, I don't feel like starving or hungry. I expected to feel really hungry this morning. And I just don't think that the impact of having fasted for this long really made a big difference. Now I did go hiking with my buddy and he had fasted uh, two weeks without eating once, he told me, I didn't know this, and 40 days once where he ate like on, on a Sunday, but he didn't eat other, other than that. And um, he told me that once you get to day three or four, that's really when like your body switches over to the fat reserves and that's when things get really tough. Um, but like, you know, the first couple days isn't, isn't a big deal. So I thought that was interesting. I learned something and uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna eat at seven o'clock tonight. So it's like in less than nine hours. So I think we'll make it, it's not a big deal. And um, yeah, I would say that this is uh, uncomfortable, but I don't, I don't know if I'd say it's like hard yet. I mean, there's been times where I've like thought, oh, I should eat like a bite of cheese or something. But I mean, they're like, oh yeah, right. I can't, I can't do that. So uh, yeah, you should try this. It, it's, it's mentally empowering to know that you can go 48 hours without food. So we'll see what else happens today. So it's about 2.30, I'm out running some errands. So about four and a half hours until we eat food. And you know, like I've been saying the whole time, really not that bad. Um, you know, it doesn't really feel too much worse than when I would fast uh, normally, like for a day or whatever, and only eat dinner, you know? So, so far, no impact. Again, I learned from my buddy earlier today that, um, you know, that days three or four are really the, where things get interesting because your body moves over from that fat reserve. So, uh, I think I would like to try it again and do that. But again, the 48 hours guys do not be intimidated. It is totally doable and it is very mentally empowering 
to know that you could go 48 hours without eating food. Um, and like I said, I, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. I'm not even nearly as hungry as I thought I would be. So again, try it. We'll see if I got any other reports coming up here. So it's uh, about 6.47, so about 13 minutes left before I can eat food again, which I will do uh, shortly here. My roast that I, or my uh, stew that I've been working on has another 26 minutes, so that final dinner will have to wait. But uh, just final observations here, you know, like I don't think I've lost uh, any muscle, uh, talking with a buddy about that. Um, I uh, did my lifts yesterday, I did bench press and stuff, and today I went on a ruck. So, I mean, I've been active the whole time. Uh, and again, I just kind of, kind of did normal life uh, while not eating food. And that uh, seemed to work out okay, for at least for this short duration, right? Longer, it'll probably be different. But uh, again, all in all, not, I wouldn't say hard. Uh, took, take some, took some effort, is uncomfortable, but definitely doable for 48 hours. I don't know anything beyond that, haven't done that, but... Uh, for 48 hours, you can do it. And I would tell you to just go ahead and do it. Just try it. Uh, get used to being uncomfortable and give it a whirl because I think you'll find it much easier than you had thought it would be because it sounds super intimidating up front, like 48 hours. Like I'm not going to eat food for 48 hours. What am I going to do? But once you do it, it's really not that bad, guys. You can make it. Uh, and you know, uh, Daddy Grantham was always saying you can go a couple days without food. And when I first heard that, I was like, really? So this was my opportunity to check that out. And uh, I would say that it's been successful. And again, would recommend that you try it. I think it's it's worth the effort. Um, that's all I got. Have you fasted? Have you tried the fasting thing before? Uh, how long have you gone? What wisdom do you have for us? Do brave deeds and endure.